Hello, welcome to Texture Mat. In this session, we will discuss about one more looping method, which is do until. So here I have created one program. Let's go through that program. So here in this uh, uh, program, on line number ten, we have declared one variable which is named as count, and it is of integer type of length two, and we have initialized one value to it, which is one. Okay. Now below to that we are using the do until loop for iterating the conditions or lines of code. So how to use that? Firstly, you have to simply write do until to start your do until loop, and then you can simply take F4. So once you take F4, you will be reached to this uh, screen where you can put these things. So first field is for label, which is optional field. Second is for condition. So whatever the condition you want to you want to use for iterating the loop you can keep it here let's say i want to check for my count variable which should be greater than and uh, greater than 25 so this will be my condition okay and below to that we have the comment field which is also an optional field if you want to keep it uh, you can keep it here otherwise you can skip it so first to first and last fields are optional and the middle one is mandatory Okay, for now I am just leaving deleting it again because we have already declared one field, uh, one condition. So let's discuss about that. So I'm taking F4. So here I have specified like count value should be greater than and equal to six. Okay. So before we discuss about these lines, uh, let me tell you two things about do until loop. Do until loop. First one is that like it will process the data only if the condition is false okay so it will only process the data when the condition is false and once the condition become true it will simply exit out the loop okay so for initially we have set the value of count as one so it will check for whether one is greater than and equal to six so which is false so once it is false then it will execute these two lines so it will simply print the account value by converting it to character using percentage care built-in function and then it will we are using chg where command to increment the value by one so now the count value become two again it falls because it fails because here you can see that two is not greater than or equal to six so it will again execute these lines till the value becomes six once the value becomes six so then this time it is true condition because 6 is equal to 6 so it will simply exit out the loop so this is the one condition second condition is that like whatever the value there is in the variable for the very first time like whenever the loop is started for the very first time it will process the lines irrespective of the condition whatever the condition is there it will execute the line and once it reaches to the bottom then it will check for the condition so in the second iteration it will check for the condition and if the condition is true it will simply exit out otherwise it will process the code which is written uh, between the do until and end do loop okay so let's see what is the output for this condition because this time we are passing one as initial value so it should print one two three four five and once it becomes six it should came out of the loop because that time it will become the true condition so I'm calling it so it prints one here we have the plus icon we can simply put here the cursor and page down two three four and five post five it is ended so if I do page down it shows last record in the file so this is the first uh, thing I was talking about in loop like it will execute only if the condition is false otherwise it will leave the loop now see the second thing about do until loop so let's say if the initial value is 100 and for the very first time when we enter to this loop so here 100 is greater than and equal to 6 which is true because 100 is greater than 6 but still it will print these record the condition is true but still it will print these uh, these conditions uh, means these values because and do until loop will check the condition once it reaches to the bottom so once it reaches like first time it will execute these lines and reaches to bottom and then it will check for the condition 
so first time it will execute the whatever the things are written there and once it reaches the bottom it will check for the condition and then if it found it as true it will simply leave the loop and if it founds the condition uh, false then it will simply execute the code which is written between the do until and end to okay so let's try to compile this and it this time it should print only 100 because first time it will allow to print the values which is correct we are getting 100 and if i do page down it is not showing any value because post 100 it exit the loop so these are the two things about do until loop first one is it will execute the lines of code written inside the do until and end do only if the condition is false and once the condition results as true it will simply leave the loop second thing is like whatever the value or condition are there first for the very first time it will process the record or process the lines of code and once it reaches to the bottom it will check for the condition in the next iteration okay so yeah uh, that's all for this do want to loop and this is also the same kind of thing that we have discussed in previous session like in previous session we have covered two more loops method like do for and do do while so this is also a one of the looping method through which we can execute multiple lines of code again and again so yeah that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching TechShare with